Hi, hello, and welcome to another episode of Stalker Call of Propria. It's me, your boy, and your nomad. We're just kind of getting ready for the push to. Where the hell are we going? Jupiter Underground, I guess. Um, but before we did that, I did want to have a quick look. This is going to happen for the next 15 episodes, like. But there's a thing there, investigate this area using improved detector. So why don't we go and take a look, you know? Um, and it might, you know, it might not be the worst idea to go and take a quick look in one of the gravitational anomalies, just quickly, to see if we can find something better than a jellyfish. I know I said last episode that, like, we'd be on the move this episode, but, you know, I, I like to tell lies. Um, and that was a lie. Or I just, you know, on the spur of the moment, decided to do something impulsive. Like, run over here and have a look at what's going on. Oh! Ooh. Zombie panic. <clears throat> What's these guys' problem? Got some buckshot, got an old echo detector, I'll take that. Hey, we'll take all this stuff, why not, right? We should take that shot here, because that's going to be worth some money, even if it's only worth like a thousand rubles. It's better than nothing. Oh, another echo detector. Don't mind if I do. <gasps> and an AK. Let's take it. Oh, it's in good condition as well. Okay, that was that was definitely worth. I don't think. I don't think. We've been without water for two days, requesting yeah, a rescue mission. I, I get it, dude. I don't think we have like a. Oh, let me guess. Like maybe I've got to jump off. Oh, it's over there. Maybe I've got to like jump off one of these ledges or something. To jump into like a teleportation anomaly. Like here? That seems like the kind we of bullshit. Alright, okay. Let's try jumping. If I break my legs, it's somebody else's fault. Ow. <laughs> uh, what do they mean by an improved detector? Do they mean like a. Um, Oh, I guess the, um, the, the Svarog, like the high level detector, will detect the actual anomaly if there's one here. Which we can't currently detect any other way. Like, I'm not picking anything up here. Find the way out. Help. We're running low on. That guy on the radio is super annoying. I'll just run up to the roof again quickly, like... But, like, surely a Velez is, is an improved detector. Like, surely it would help us find things, but, well, I guess not. Oh. Much longer. Mm -hmm. We've been without water for two days, requesting a rescue mission. Help. We require immediate assistance. We won't hold out for more than three. Oh. <gasps> Ow. <laughs> Whoops. Um... It sounds like you guys are running low on everything. Uh, but yeah, if there's if there's an anomaly up here, I can't really detect it right now. Maybe we do need the Svarog. I don't know what I need to, what hoops I need to jump through to get that. I don't think I can just buy it. I think I need to be given it. Can't craft it as far as I'm aware. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that might have just been a waste of time. But it looks like the hell is this fog? Oh. <coughs> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Yeah, I guess we're not going to achieve anything here. Um, so I think I'd like to go to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Much longer. We've been without water for two days. Requesting a rescue mission. Let's go and get that purple stash before we go anywhere else. But then I think we're just going to see if we can like get the last member of our crew and just head on out. Yo, this fog is something else, though. Going the right way? No, oh, roughly. Like this way we need to go. Um, 
How are we doing? We're at 53 kilos out of 50. Okay. I don't really need these echo detectors, but we can sell them for a little bit of money. I mean, I'll throw them away if they become inconvenient, but for now, they could be valuable. I don't know what could possibly be in this purple stash that would be of any use. Maybe a nice weapon or something. Oh god, it's all the way in. Oh shoot. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Ooh. Spicy. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just thinking about how overweight I am and how that stash is likely to be in the big earth mover. And we probably have to do some jumping and stuff. I don't want to be grossly overweight. I want to actually be able to move, so... And we're just going through these things. Like, sell the weapons and stuff. Right, homie, listen. Yeah, listen, you can buy that and that for 1,300 rubles. It's better than nothing. Um... And then I'll just run and put... Oh, do you know what? I'm going to sell those echo detectors as well. They're probably worth more to the ecologists, but... Ugh, 300 rubles, it really wasn't worth it. But okay. Um, and I'll throw the 545 downstairs real quick. And... Yeah, okay. Let's go have a little look. I do still want to find that frickin' that frickin' monolith. I'm kind of tempted actually to do like a lap around here. I remember him like hiding under a bridge somewhere. The only one I can immediately see is like here, but I feel like I've almost definitely been there. I don't know, I just might be completely misremembering. Let's run this way real quick. Uh, are you kidding me? Crap. That's really inconvenient. Okay, there's going to be an omission. It says the closest one is here with Zulu. Or Nitro, or whatever his name is. Let's go and see him. We'll also get a nice view of that through the window, I guess. Okay, let's go and watch from the window, assuming that's fairly safe. Yeah, perfectly safe. <laughs> perfectly safe. Of course, the actual mission starts up. Oh yeah, there you go. This is this is this is fine. Where's my booze? I don't have any booze. What kind of Ukrainian am I? Well, hopefully this will clear out the uh, clear out the mist anyway, so we can have, actually have some sight lines after it's all finished. Oh, there's, there's some booze. Let's have this.
Alright, we made it. It's less violent than I remember. Maybe because my perceptions have been distorted slightly, or my expectations have been slightly distorted by playing uh, Call of Chernobyl and so on. Anyway, let's go and hit this, uh, grab this purple stash. We can also have a look in the, uh, in the chemical anomaly down in the pit. There might be a Kolbok there, which, you know, would let us complete another quest. Um, which we do at this point mostly for the sake of completionism rather than for the reward we might get. I can't imagine... I can't imagine we'd get any special rewards at this point. And nothing that would really change the way we play except maybe a Svarog detector. Alright, so we need to go this way. Bonjour. That's just flesh, right? Or Toshkani? Sounds pretty horrific. Go run up here. No. Uh -oh. I think this is right. What does it say? Stash from the unlocked module, that's all it says. Okay. Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh, God, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, my heart leapt into my mouth. I forgot what the run button was. Uh, let's try again. Let's try again. Okay, so it's still in front of me, and I can still hear zombies, but the zombies are probably downstairs. Ah, the stash must be in here. Gotta be, right? <gasps> what is it? A note to Ghost. <clears throat> A note on the back of an old document. Ghost, I'm taking my things. Thanks to the assault rifle, I'm gonna need it. In exchange, I'm needing you some of the doctor's medical supplies. Managed to trap the mercenaries on my tail, so I'm not going to need them, I hope. I'm going to meet Fang now. He has managed to put the decoder together. Let's meet at the usual place if you can make it. Strelok, what the hell? The hell? That's the stash? Are you sure about that, sir? Okay, well, there's another one back there, apparently. So should we go and get that? Maybe we should. Um, but maybe we should make our way down first. I'm not sure if I've, like, accidentally discovered something I wasn't supposed to discover in terms of, like, quests or whatever. I am, um, I'm completely lost, but it's fine. I'm usually completely lost, to be honest with you. Uh, how, ooh, hello. There's an artifact there on the scanner. How are we going to get down there? What's the best way? Oh, oh, oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, let me out. Thug. Um, got a ladder there, bro. You do. Okay, well, there are definitely... Definitely zombies over there, but I'm just going to try and avoid those guys if I can. I might pop a anti-chemical pill. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see it. Got it, wherever it was. And there was one over here as well. I just saw it. There it is. Come here, you. Come on, mister. <gasps> Firefly. <gasps> What's that? A bubble. Minus four radiation. Oh, that's amazing. I totally wasn't expecting to find that. That's spectacular. Um, okay. 
And then we've got another stash up there. Okay, this is this turned out to be totally worthwhile. Because look, we can just pop that. That's already better than both those jellyfish. Or as good as both those jellyfish, but in half the space. Um, there's a lot of monsters around here. Jeez Louise. Oi. Run. Fuck. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh god, that's a lot of dogs. Those just gonna do way more damage than I was expecting. Ooh, okay, that was an interesting little fight. Let's see if we can actually survive it this time. Where even am I? Okay, we're here. Fine. Jeez. Uh, whoops. Uh, you need that over there. I feel like it's kind of incumbent on me to try again, so... Why? Oh my god, they hit so hard. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Where did they learn to hit? They're only little rats. Let's see it was that doggy. It's just, there's just too many. We're gonna have to take another way around. Um, I either need a minigun or a flamethrower. <laughs> the rats almost hit harder than the dogs, and I guess this suit is really not suited to what I'm asking it to do. Ridiculous. Uh, we're going this way. How many freaking dogs are there? down there. There's at least like six. Oh shit. Run. Run! <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so stupid. I want to take a Hercules, but I've only got like one, I think. Can't even see it. Can't even see it. There it is. I was hovering right over it. Okay, and I'm sure those dogs make exactly the same noises as the Tishkana themselves, which is ridiculous. Let's quickly run up these stairs. Which, at least if they come chasing us, should be moderately safe. Move, Jack. Get out of the way. What's going on? Are you kidding me? Let me out. I don't want to die. There's another one. 
Shut up. Leave me alone. All right, seriously, get out of the way. All right, I think we're good. <clears throat> Let's go and have a look for this... This stash, which is literally over there, apparently. Like here? It must be in the tunnels, right? Surely. Gotta be in the tunnels. It's gotta be in the tunnels. There's nothing here. It has to be underground, I think. Really? Can it be this way? Is there a tunnel that goes under here? I don't actually think there is a tunnel that goes over there. So where can it be? Okay, well, okay. Maybe it actually is here. If it is, I can't see it. Oh, maybe there's, um... I got an idea. Uh-huh. Ow. I forgot all about this place. Hold on. I forgot what my buttons are. There we go. Oh, okay. That's pretty sneaky. That's pretty sneaky. What you got for me, homie? Another crappy note. A note to Strelok on checkered paper. Strelok, I've left the other decoder in our appropriate stash just in case. Me and Ghost are heading to Agriprom, so we'll leave our extra ammo here. Take it if you need it. Happy hunting, Fang. But there's nothing actually in these containers. I guess these are for another quest later on, maybe. Um. Okay, giant waste of time. <laughs> giant waste of time. <laughs> maybe since we're here, though, we should check the owl. We should check the building upstairs, because there's that anomalous building up there and see if there's anything juicy in it we don't have to actually go in to check we can just walk underneath the building we should be fine damn it <clears throat> i feel like it's kind of incumbent on us to go check now though let's go take a little look i was really hoping there wouldn't be anything but uh I just want to make double sure it's not like above us or on top of us or something. It's probably below us, but let's make sure it's not here before we go. You know, I'm jumping down into the building, but I think we're good. I think we're good. I suspect it'll be on the floor directly beneath us. I think that's where we found things before. Take a quick little look. Hmm. 
There it is. What is it? It is a cristal, which is thermal plus three. Literally not, not, not of any use to us. We've got better ones already. But that's fine. We found something. Um, I might even swing past the, uh, the little swamp anomaly on the way back. And see if we can maybe get super lucky and lay our hands on another one of these anti-radiation artifacts. I mean, we've only got three slots, so, in our, in our suit, so. Even if I did find another really good anti-radiation artifact, I probably wouldn't use it. Just because we've only got three slots total, so having two of them taken up with kind of like dead artifacts wouldn't be super useful. But like we can put, for example, minus four radiation, we could put in like plus two health restoration there. That's fine. So we've got wound healing and health restoration. It won't be super fast, but it will go. You can see it up increasing already. And that's like a... Like, in terms of, like, saving resources long-term, it's a really, like, I think it's a really good setup. Like, it won't protect you in the middle of a fight, but it will protect you, like, if you survive the fight initially, it will save you from having to use up any extra resources. Let's go take a quick look over here. This has been another like filler episode, I guess, but we have we had a fight or two and we found some good artifacts, so we've kind of got what I was hoping to get. Um, the, all these dead pigs are from when we did the... Oh god, you scared the crap out of me. Uh, all these dead pigs are here from when we did that uh, scanning quest, I guess. Um, let's go and take a quick look. We could have just asked the ecologist, I guess. They would have told us if there was anything in here, but since we're already here, it's easy enough just to wander in and take a look ourselves. Not seeing anything, though. Okay. Um, yeah, I really do want to take a look and see... I might even just go look. I don't really want to cheat and go look at, the, like, look at a wiki or anything, but I do want to know if I've missed out on those monolith... Those friendly monolith guys. They gotta be somewhere. They gotta be somewhere. And let's run back and sell the uh, sell the bits and pieces. Sell the artifacts we found. Uh, might sell one of these jellyfish as well. And then take a little break, I guess. We should speak to the mechanic for sure. I'm almost wondering if that monolith guy is like one of the other pot uh, potential companions. I might be wrong, but I'm not sure. So first things first, you, sir, give me some money. Enjoy your... Ooh, health restoration plus six. That'd actually be really dope, but we don't have enough slots for it. Um, enjoy your crystal for 1,800 and enjoy your jellyfish. It gives us another 5,000 total. Um, Pop in sometime. It can be fun around here. Have some water. Hey there. Hey man, I thought you were going to come with us, but maybe I was mistaken. Yeah, for some reason I thought this guy was going to come with us on our journey to uh, Pripyat, but I guess not. So who is the next person? Maybe it really is that guy. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, what have we got here? Accuracy, reliability, or weight? I'm going to go for accuracy for 2400. Screw it. Um, Later. Yeah, okay, we're going to pause here. And then uh, I'll think about what our next step is. But we're we're edging closer, closer and closer and closer to what we're trying to do here. Um, so yeah, I'll just say for now, thank you very very much for watching. Take care, and 
Ooh, we've got two of those. That could be worth a lot of money. Um, yeah, take care. Thank you very, very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you again tomorrow for the next episode. Don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe and take care about the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.